Hi guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. Today on Creative Glam, we're making two organic sugar body scrub. I thought I'd share with you how I make my own body scrubs. One is rose petal and the other is lemon zest. I love the body sugar scrubs at Bath and Body Works. Uh, I usually purchase the lavender and chamomile, but I make my own homemade organic sugar body scrubs and they're very good. Shameless plug, I guarantee you. These body sugar scrubs will be something that you grab again and again. I leave mine in the shower, so when I'm ready to use it, it's always there. I do a rose, yeah, I do a rose petal, I do a lemon zest, and I do a chamomile and lavender. Those are the three that I like the most. And um, I'm gonna show you what you need to get started. If it sounds like something you're interested in seeing, Stay tuned. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is measure my sugar. I'm gonna do um, a half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. Break up any lumps you may have in your sugar. And then I gotta make my oil. I'm gonna make a cup, so I'm gonna move the sugar out of the way. Replace it with the oil. Now I'm gonna put some lanolin oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, almond oil, avocado. I got everything from Trader Joe's except this one. I got the lanolin oil from um, Amazon. All the other oils I got from Trader Joe's. I looked at the ingredients on the back of the um, sugar body scrub I get from Bath and Body Works, and that's how I kind of came up with my mix. And you don't have to mix this many oils. I just found out I I like this mix and then I'm gonna mix it up okay we got our oils together also just so you guys know I made enough oil for both body scrubs I went ahead and made, mixed it one time and I'm gonna use half of this for the rose petal body scrub and I'm gonna use the other half for the lemon zest body scrub so I mixed it all one time but in this bowl here where I put my sugar um, I only put enough sugar in here for one. I used a half a cup of sugar. So it's a half a cup of sugar to a half a cup of oil. We're gonna pour half of this mixture into our sugar. That's pretty good. Actually, just a smidge more. There we go. All right, we're gonna take and mix this up mix it all together and we're going to add our rose garden essential oils shake it up and I'm going to put about 20 drops oh that smells so fantastic that really does these make awesome gifts as well guys and I couldn't decide which jar to use. They're both quite pretty. But I thought that if I was in the shower, I think the cork top one would be easier to work with than this one. I just think this one is so pretty though. I just really like that. I think that's gorgeous. Um, I might put one in there, but I figure for now, this one might work best. It also has its own little spoon which you can scoop some out and put onto your washcloth. I thought that was just super cute. You cannot put essential oils on your skin without a carrier oil. So you, you need to have a carrier oil in there. But I want it fragrant. I like it really super fragrant. All right, so then I'm just gonna take a few rose petals. This is, again, as I said, the rose petal body scrub. So I'm gonna do, that's one, two, three. Four. I'm gonna start with four rose petals and see how where that takes me to. So you kind of almost do them like a like as if you were Julienne, um, you were cutting sage or lettuce or something. I roll them into like a cigar, and and then I took the scissors and cut really thin ribbon. You don't want them long. I kind of want it cut up almost like confetti. Um, I think that works best when you're pulling it out of the jar. And then I just take and. Feel the jar as careful as possible. 
Okay, guys. There it is. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Hmm? That's absolutely gorgeous. It smells as beautiful as it looks. I wish I had smell a tube. Rose petal organic sugar body scrub. My mix of organic carrier oils, rose petals, organic sugar, and essential oils. Beautiful. Now let's move on to the lemon zest. We're going to add sugar once again. I'm gonna need about a half a cup of sugar. Okay, half a cup of sugar. The rest of my carrier oil here. Zest a lemon here. And remember, when you're zesting with lemon, you don't want the white part. You really just want the yellow. So just as if you were cooking, same process. The lemon zest smells so good. So a half a cup of sugar. I squeeze just a, a, a small amount of lemon because it brightens it up and it also brightens up the skin. And then I add the remaining half a cup of, a, of a carrier oil, organic carrier oil. Then I take and I add my lemon zest. And I mix that up. That smells good already, even without even without the essential oils. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my lemon blossom. I know a lot of people use lemongrass, and lemongrass is okay, but I prefer lemon blossom. Oh, fantastic. And again, 20 drops, one, two, three, five, six. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. It is so fragrant, and it is so pretty. And I'm just gonna pour it into the jar. These smell so fragrant, so good. That is beautiful. Okay guys, we're all done. We've got two organic sugar body scrubs. One is the lemon zest sugar body scrub and the other is the rose petal sugar body scrub. It wasn't very difficult to make as you can see Again, I just used organic carrier oil. I used almond oil, avocado oil, lanolin oil, jojoba oil, and vitamin E oil. Now I just have to attach the labels to the front and I'll be right back. Body scrub, depending upon what essential oil you use, the sugar will exfoliate your skin, the oils will moisturize your skin, and the essential oils will leave a fragrance of fresh lemons or, or uh, uh, sweet rose petals or a relaxing lavender and chamomile scent. Um, you can also do it with salt. I do it with salt as well. The salt is a little harsher on the skin uh, than the sugar. I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in. I had a blast making these body sugar scrubs. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment. And on that note, I wanna thank you again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next week. Bye.